just be like the world's crappiest podcast. Lauren eating two muffins <laughs> and talking about a boy she has a crush on <laughs> who may or may not know she exists. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Unhitched or Dad Trying. I'm Cameron Carter, and with me is the girl with all the pearls, Lauren Neat. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah? Thank you. Yeah, um, I do have a lot of pearls. Do you? Are you a pearls girl? Yeah. That's good. Are they real? Well, they better be. Oh, do you not do the teeth test? <laughs> No, my mom, the orthodontist, would be very upset if I was walking around biting pearls. What you- <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "This is bad, <laughs> bad for your teeth." Uh, now that's something that I definitely grew up with was having parents, mainly parents, and uh, <laughs> th- those in authority over me, telling me to get things out of my mouth. <laughs> um, I have an oral fixation, and it's bad. Um, <laughs> You know, I'm just imagining you with like the world's weirdest things just like sticking out of your mouth like a clothes hanger and they're like, Cameron, get it out of your mouth. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> how do you fit that whole thing in there? That's crazy. <laughs> um, I, no, they've been crazy. I'm sure there have been crazier things than that. Um, in your mouth? Yeah. Um, let's see. The craziest thing I've ever put in my mouth. Um <laughs> I oh, I'm kind of drawing a blank. A uh, uh, paper, you know, uh, in an paper. effort to get rid of uh, documents, you know. No, okay, my dad does that. Really? Yeah. He, he's a uh, he chews on the papes. Yep. When he wants to like make sure it's not going to be traceable or his identity won't get stolen, he'll like chew it up into like an unrecognizable wad mm-hmm. and then spit it out. I think about because I do that. <laughs> and I I think about you know the CSI episode where you know they gotta get the wad of paper and somehow <laughs> give it to an intern in the lab. Ew, that's <laughs> happened? I don't know. Oh. No. No, but I'm thinking at that point they're like, I give up. I give up. Like, She'll remain this, murdered. This looks I, like I, Pat Neat or Cameron Carter got a hold of this. <laughs> that's what they'll say. <laughs> It's one of the two of them, but we never know which. I never knew another human did that. Like, that makes me really happy to Chew- know. Yeah, well, uh, it's been getting better. I've been getting better at not chewing up the documents. I. <laughs> so the other day, I discarded a checkbook that I'd had for years. And mm-hmm. so, uh, you know, I didn't... I was like, that's a lot to eat, and I'm pretty full. <laughs> and so I ended up taking it to the bathroom, giving it a good little soak, and then I probably spent... <laughs> 20 minutes tearing it up into little bits and then <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing a side of your neurotic your neuroses mm-hmm. my, my neuroses is very bad <laughs> my racism is still the same still pretty uh, <laughs> though i will now that I bring up checkbooks i realized the other day that whenever i have to pay for something with check I have to whip out my Looney Tune checkbook mm. because I haven't ever run out of checks oh. from when I got them when I was 14. Well, that's comforting because you said Looney Tunes and then there's, okay, so there's different um, stigmas uh, associated with being a Disney girl or a Looney Tunes girl. Is there? Oh. Enlighten it, me. Uh, if, I, I think... Looney Tunes is kind of the white trash of oh. of the cartoons. <laughs> oh. Whereas, you know, Disney is the obvious uh princess. Um like white privilege. Right, white privilege. Okay. Um, so um apparently I'm uh I'm the white trashy part of the mix. I, I always loved uh what's her face? The no the the bird, the or it's his face. Tweety. Tweety. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot his name. <laughs> so Wait, bl- is it a him or her? It's a him. Now, that's very confusing. I know. Uh, there are a lot of cartoons out there that you just... J- well, I mean, the, in this day and age, gender doesn't matter. Uh, I mean... So we're told. Yeah, well, so, like, it was just crazy growing up. You never needed to know the gender of different cartoons. Animals? You're just cool with that. You're like, like, I still don't know if the Roadrunner is a guy or girl. You know what? That's true. Or Wiley Coyote. Uh, I don't know. I think Wiley was a dude. I mean, Wiley's a dude's name. You assume that. That's true. Me well, and my... Tweety sounds like a girl's name. 
That's true. Mm. I mean, maybe they're breaking gender stereotypes. Yeah. With some of the, you never know. Looney Tunes is probably one of the more progressive cartoons out there. <laughs> Apparently so. I know. I thought I was just looking to you know <laughs> see how much uh, pain and torture a coyote could survive every Sunday morning <laughs> or Saturday morning. Uh, I had to get that date right, right, because that's so crucial to who I am. The Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah, and it was a it was an hour, like a full on hour of like Looney Tunes cartoons, and uh, so you were white trash with me. Oh, absolutely. I I was never denying that. Oh, good. Yeah, good. I there's just something Disney, like the core characters at Disney. None of that's funny. None of that's. You're it, right. It might be entertaining, but when's the last time you've laughed at Donald Duck or Goofy or... Goofy's funny. Uh, Go- like, it, those old Goofy cartoons where, like, Goofy gets in really funny... Like, they're meant to be, like, educational cartoons. Like, how to get your driver's license or something. And it's yes. old Goofy, and he gets himself into all these predicaments. Mm-hmm. That is that is the only funny part about the Disney cartoons. <laughs> I'm picturing Goofy going to get his driver's life license and then ending up in a predicament where he somehow walked out with a gun license or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, shucks. That just went dark. Hey, my Goofy's pretty spot on. You want to hear it? Yes, please. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, welcome. No. That's good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, um, we talked about this, and um, I think earlier this week, I don't know if we had this conversation with you or we had it about you because Amy and I talk about you a lot behind your back, you know. Very good. Mainly just who you should date. Oh, um, tell me. John, Peter, <laughs> Bartholomew. So all the men from the Bible? Yes. All. <laughs> Judas? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Do you think if I was to Google right now... <laughs> Let the listener know my feet are now back up on the but table. Let the listener know. This is court, by the way. Um, <laughs> court cast. Oh, that would be a great. That'd be a great idea for a podcast. Podcasts? Man, there's so many tangents we're going down right now. Um, <laughs> we're just excited to be in the room together again. To, but to draw the visual image, Lauren ex- somehow extended her barefoot foot above her eye level, and then kind of showed me, looked at me, and then said. Basically, with her eyes, I'm putting this down. <laughs> and then slowly reduce the elevation of her foot until it nestled gently on the tabletop. Where so, it belongs. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's fine. Thanks. Um, so part of the conversation this past week was on... Um, we noticed you have a really good... Uh, you, could go, you could totally go into voice acting. Like, you were... Hmm imitating some kids or something and you just did this i don't know what it was it was like <laughs> and and it was just spot on i was like that sounds like that could be like a kid off of i don't know some cartoon network show or something like that like that, that is so nice hey, thank you thank, um, thank you <laughs> you're welcome there you go <laughs> um but that's really nice thank you i would that would be something that, that would be so fun to do I mean, well, have you ever actually thought about this before? Because you you just kind of nonchalantly did this out of nowhere, mm. and and I was just I was kind of frustrating it frustrated at you that you had no idea that you like did that so well. I didn't know I was good at it. No one's ever told me that. I thought everyone was annoyed by me. Oh yeah, well, just in general. <laughs> Just so used to being annoying, I assume I'm annoying. Right. So anything that I do or comes out of my mouth Must is be repulsive. <laughs> Obviously. Um, no, but I think you. So can do that. Do that voice you did for us. I really because I want to see how the it kid sounds. voice. Yeah, the kids voice. Like just you have this voice for the oh. kids, and <laughs> like you did an impression of an animal the other day, and I don't remember what oh. it was. Okay. Um. Well. What kind of kid is it? Like, I don't know. You sound like a girl that's going to eventually one day become a witch just now. <laughs> and I thought it sounded like Marcel the Shell. Oh, that's... that's I just that's accidentally came out with yeah. it. Jenny Slate's uh, cartoon? Yes. Oh, that See, one's... you gotta, I gotta like... It's gotta just happen naturally, you know? I right. will say as a kid, one of my dreams was to be the voice of a character. Mm. So that is interesting that you said I have a... I'm good at that because that would be a dream come true. I always wanted to be the voice of the most annoying Disney character, um, Which Yago, from Aladdin. Oh, 
I don't think which, he's the most annoying. He's funny. He's a what's what's the actor's name that does his voice? Um, Gil- Gilbert Godfrey. Gilbert Godfrey. Mm-hmm. Super annoying. Yes. In in <laughs> actually like interviews, he. I don't know. I just don't enjoy him. I'm sure he's a great guy, but just really out there, really weird. He could be. Um, and then that kind of, uh, I just remember seeing a couple interviews as a kid and just being like, oh, that's, um, I don't want to be him. I don't want to be him at all. Um, <laughs> you know who I think, okay, first of all, I've never actually thought about the voice of the characters that's the best, but <clears throat> I think the funniest Disney movie of all time is 